concrete tools. Let's go ahead and let's see if I can get to the cut to the chase for you. It's just sitting on the back of my trailer here. But this stuff is is part of what goes out. Electric electric cord. What do you need electric for when you're doing concrete? Well, power washer. I use a little electric power washer to clean off these tools. This is what happens when you don't clean off your tools. This is a aluminum screed and the paste of the concrete will bond to the screed. This took me, uh, gosh, half an hour to get this back smooth again um, of grinding it back because someone um, just threw it back onto my truck without cleaning it off. So now this is, this is now, as you can see, my hand fingers running across it. It's now smooth. I'm not going crazy about the face because your gloves get on this all the time or this. So these three surfaces I will, will not bother me one bit. But long as this now is all is all flat. So that took, like I said, quite some hours, uh, quite some time rather, um, hours to destroy it for the concrete to set up. How about that? So that's your aluminum screed, a aluminum screed. Now, this is aluminum also. It's just, it's, it's nothing. It's just a piece of aluminum I'll grab. But I wanted to show the difference. This is smooth, a smooth surface, aluminum. This is magnesium. And here's wood. So which one would you use to start finishing your concrete? Or would you just go ahead and start using a steel trowel? As you see many of the professionals on YouTube, call them professionals because they make money doing it, profession. You'll see them use a metal trowel to start leveling concrete. And when I say leveling, flattening the surface. A metal trowel, um, when a concrete is first set, should never be used. I, there is no exception to that. Never be used unless you're just playing around and you know you're going to remove that immediately, what you just did. And I'll explain that in a minute. So never should be used first. Here is a longer magnesium straight edge, if you will, uh, trowel. And it's got two handles on it for really getting out there and doing some work. Let me see if I can do this for you guys. Let me back this up even more. Okay. Give you a slight bit of an angle here. All right. So now, manufacturers don't matter. So don't get all caught up in which manufacturer to buy. You just want a flat edge. You'll see a lot of the old guys, they'll, they'll leave concrete on top of here. They like the extra weight. No big deal. This, the, the business end is down here. If that's what they like, that's what they like. They need the extra weight because they're getting on that concrete late. Um, so now, and it's not enough helpers. And ultimately, it will look like it will look like this con when concrete's left on it. And of course, the underside again is the business section, all good to go. Um, so this one's relatively new. It probably will get concrete sticking, building up over time on it. So this one, magnesium and aluminum. They're both going to do about the same thing as far as pulling up, uh, surfacing your 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 cement. Your concrete is your concrete you mix, your paste is on top. This is pretty much going to be surfacing your cement. You don't really want stones at the top surface, so that's when you see the bull floating going on first, which is this big boy in the back. And I use a roller, a roller tamper, a roller tamper, but this is also a magnesium trowel. And it's just a bigger section, a bigger surface area, right? And it's going to flatten it concrete surface. It's also got a nice cam action. Let's go ahead and put that aside for a You know, I'll put that down. Now there's different sizes. Uh, here's your smaller size when you want to just get in different areas. I'll give this a, a, a professional tip for anybody professional watching this is that if you wait too long to get on your concrete, use a small one. This is going to require a lot more pressure to, to get your cream going than this will, your, your paste. Because you can apply more, the same weight that you have on your arm, your body weight, will apply more surface pressure on the smaller one than on this one. This is going to distribute the pressure more so. So the smaller one's going to let you get a lot more, uh, um, get you back on track a lot faster, if you will. So let's go ahead and put that smaller one over here. That's the mag. Now, let me, let me, let 
when will you use wood? When do you use wood? Well, look at the difference of the wood float compared to the magnesium float. You can use this in the beginning when you're screeding, when you're just trying to get it surface. Why this? Well, because it's not going to really, it's porous, it's not, it's just fibrous, it's, it's not going to affect your concrete um, with pulling up, we call it pulling up the, the uh, paste or pulling up the cream um, that a lot of people um, believe the magnesium is pulling up the cream. Um, it, it's, it's surface water, it's surface materials that you're cycling around and around with the magnesium. Um, this is wood, so if you've got a wet surface, if, you got, if you've got your concrete running real wet, this is the guy that you would quickly use, not this one. You don't need that, that surface water drying off, sealing, etc. You're going to jump on the wood first if it's really wet concrete. Um, otherwise, you're going to magnesium it, and you don't need the wood one at all besides perhaps screeding if you don't have aluminum screeds, which I always recommend aluminum screeds. Go to your uh, local uh, metal supplies shops and just buy it. You don't have to buy it online for $200 for a 10-foot piece. You go there, it's $40. And you're, you now have got a professional screed. You don't have wood warping and all that silliness. It's, it's unprofessional. Um, here's your aluminum again. It's going to have the same effect. Aluminum is a lot tighter than magnesium, though. The, magnesium, the aluminum is going to be a tighter, tighter surface than the magnesium. So you have to figure that out when you want to work with that. Now, why don't you use the metal trowels first? Well, the metal is going to seal off your surface of your concrete. It's going to give it a nice, flat, tight seal. And the magnesiums and those will not. Once you get that flat, tight seal and the sun starts hitting the surface, the top layer will dry out pretty fast. Pretty fast. Once that's done, it's now crusted. Imagine a crust. It's a crust there. The bleed water from the bottom of the concrete, or from the lower part of the concrete, is going to come up, especially if you've got a, um, a vapor barrier down. It's definitely going to come up. It's the only way for it to escape. So as it comes up to the surface, it's going to hit that crusted surface that you created with a metal trowel. And now you'll get, you, it'll dry, it'll look great to you. You think everything's great. But there's an excellent chance that you'll have uh, delamination going on, peeling, popping, and everything. And it's because... These people, I keep seeing them getting on their concrete, and I want to call out some names, but I will not. I will not. Maybe you guys can, you know which channels I'm talking about. But whenever you see them on a wet concrete with a metal trowel, you can show right then that person has, has just working by the seat of their pants with no knowledge of concrete and what's going on. Really, no knowledge of concrete. Whenever I see that, and I don't care if they've been doing it for 30 years. I've seen a couple of YouTube guys doing said they're doing it for 40 years. I've seen them get on that wet concrete with their metal trowels edging. Um, that's a great way to get your delamination. Um, so now you understand it again. You're going to crush that top because it's going to dry because you made a thin layer or tight layer. Sun's going to hit it. It's going to dry. Let's hit one more point before I terminate the video. And that is adding water to the surface. You see guys shaking at it and water to the surface. Yeah, it helps glide the materials, get the finish a little more uh, flat again, if you will. That's what they're trying to get a tight finish with the metal trowel. The problem with water, it is a mass, and it has to, when it dries off, it can create cracks because it took up space itself. I've seen a lot of old timers, they'll grab something like this. They'll clean it out, make sure there's no soap in it. I hope they're doing that. They drill the holes here, and that will be their, their water sprinkling uh, container. Um, I do not recommend that. That means you, you just didn't have enough work helpers there that day. You didn't time the concrete. You didn't do the right thing. Um, you're going to have to really grind at that thing. And if you're going to use water, I mean, really, don't, don't saturate it. You know, uh, just remember, it's, it also takes mass. It's going to dry off. So if you get a nice tight finish with that water sprinkle you've got going on there, then you've also got water to evaporate off of that surface. And if you see grazing and cracking everywhere, you know, that was your water you added. That's your water you added. So you'll see that sometimes on guys when they have no problem just shaking down water with their brush or whatever they bring along, especially for that. So if a guy has a, uh, a brush in his truck, he's telling you right then he doesn't have enough manpower. 
he doesn't know when to get on the concrete correctly, and he doesn't know that he should not be doing that, or he doesn't care. And just saying, it's just concrete, I got in my contract, it cracks, so, you know, and he'll just, and just call those cracks, and just say, that's part of the contract. All right, I'm, I'm terminating the video. I hope that was somewhat helpful for you guys. Please ask away and I'll, I'll share whatever I can. I'll share whatever, whatever you ask.